This is a video review of the Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Ironhide, and Prowl from the movie. As you can see, they're battle damaged versions of the toys, or dead versions, depending on how you wish to see it. With some nice blast effect parts, which I don't care all that much for. So you get like two stacked together and um, two stacked together here, I guess. And I don't really much care for these. Get Prowl's gun, and uh, these two belong to Ironhide. I think it's cool he has two. You don't need to like buy two Ironhides, he just comes with two, which is cool. So take a look at the box. Uh, you see a nice backdrop of the arc with the it's blown in where that's when the Megatron and the Decepticons came in. Pictures of uh, Prowl and Ironhide on the side, as well as pictures of the toys on the back. Just some words on the top and the bottom. You open this up. This cardboard out. This is the cardboard that's tied onto. You get a nice preview of the backdrop, and this is the actual uh, stand thing for the figures. So you can sort of. Ease out of the way. This here, and put these in there. All right. So take a look at the figures. Um, Ironhide doesn't have any translucent plastic, so I guess it's more durable. Uh, unfortunately, the arms just feel kind of more floppy on this copy. I don't know why. Um, but at least this back bumper stays um, in the notches on the back. Um, it does have this... It's a bit dirty here, so... But it was like that when I got it. I don't know why. But I guess you could clean it off. I haven't bothered. I'm honestly just reviewing this uh, right after I opened it up. But I've had this figure before. It's a very great version of Ironhide. I like this more than the... Uh, I think it's better than the Earthrise one. Honestly, I pre-ordered the Ironhide and Earthrise Prowl, but unfortunately, um, I was one of the people who didn't get it shipped out to me because they didn't have enough stock to send to everyone. And I didn't want to pay the aftermarket prices. So I sort of got this out of... Uh, mainly desperation for wanting that set, but we, this is a cooler iron hide. You don't get like the uh, parts forming roof. You just transform it and and the only um, part that doesn't come out of it are the guns. Then yeah, so no. Sh so no shield, and when he never had one in the TV show, definitely the best Ironhide figure we've ever gotten. Even more than the Masterpiece. Like, this, this is just spot on with how Ironhide is supposed to look. Very solid design. I think I like the Universe 1 too, which was great for its time, but I think this... This design just feels more uh, how do I say this is more squared up and not so jagged like the universe one. Uh, you get some cable on the side legs, but not any on the arms, unlike the universe. One. I 
And even the back uh, doesn't look too bad. The prong, same deal here. It does come with this um, piece put in the back. Uh, the cop, siren light. Then you have also tr also not translucent plastic, which is good. And um, yeah, I think this is pretty much just prowl, but with a different expression and the uh, damage here. I think you put the blast effects here, but again, I don't I could try because I don't really care that much for it. Uh, looks a lot like his masterpiece. I don't really like how the bumpers are the rear bumpers or the Feet. I do. Th ink the proportions of the hood in robot mode are better than the masterpiece one. Also. I think they should do what the original universe toy tried to do. Just give it, try to give it a, its own feet that come out from the bottom. I, I guess that's what they did with the Cyberverse one, but this one just feels more solid and higher quality than the Cyberverse one. Um, favorite part of this, of course, is the wings. This is. And the nice helmet with the horns. Yeah. So, two. So, both figures are good. Arguably the best looking toys we've gotten of these characters to date. It's for articulation. It's, it's good. Couples bend. 90 degrees. Knees. Swivel the thigh and the bicep. Go up and out and forth. But you gotta lift this waist skirt up piece <laughs> here, which the masterpiece toy had also, but it's not super obnoxiously big like that one was. And some ankle tilt and pivot articulation is on a ball joint for the head. Yeah, so I'll, so standard art generations articulation for Ironhide. Uh, and it's got uh, good ankles. So it's got good articulation. Um, I guess you could say the same for about Prowl. Um, it's actually been more than 90. I think this is pretty great articulation. 90 degrees and uh, swivel at the elbow. And the upper part of the thigh, can go back and forth, go up, out, again heads on a ball joint, yeah, so good articulation out of these two as well, now to transform them, just what you want to do with Ironhide, I thought I, thought Ironhide was complicated, because from what I remember of the original Studio 86 figure, but tried it. Re went through the instructions again, and it wasn't so bad. So, tuck the head in. I guess you could just break the ab part. Then you spin it, uh, not on the hips, but this uh, round circular piece here. Not much, or exactly uh, what point I should turn it, but it's supposed to go 180. Then get the fists together, bend them down. And you take these feet, 
up and get this here. You can start to see the rear of the iron hide forming in the back. And this is, yeah, not as bad as I remembered. I mean, not as difficult as I remembered. And then the at some point you'll want the, the hands, arms uh, tabbed together. And you want to connect these the back pieces to the arms. And get everything lined up like so. And from here, you can probably guess what's next. You fold out these panels to cover up uh, the front side windows. So just have to get it in the sort of right position. And here is Ironhide in his, um, van mode. I think these two are to store the guns, but I don't uh, care about that. Probably just have this in robot mode displayed. Now to get this other thing here, uh, don't forget, get the arms out of the way, because these tab into these tabs here. And that will release the chest, so you can pull it up, spin this down. Fortunately, that has a habit of coming out. That's really annoying. You want to get bend these down. I have trouble getting this in. I don't know. Maybe the mold didn't, parts didn't come out right of the mold. Anyways. Um, then of course you want to um, <sighs> fold the knees. I mean the legs in. I'm not entirely sure. I know these go in, but oh yeah, these are supposed to go up in here. Okay, now these can go in. And of course, you already probably figure out the rest of this. The arms tuck underneath. And where they're supposed to tab in is these uh, doors have a slot for these tabs on the side. So, get this cleaned up. And here's Prowl in his car mode. See, symbols a cop car. Got some again, nice blue translucent windows. Got a badge on the side with the Autobot symbol. Also, the symbol on the front. It is nice. That's your typical uh, black and white uh, police car. Yeah. So. Pretty accurate vehicle mode. Uh, you can actually store this by putting the gun on top. Then this uh, pretty much looks the same, but no translucent windows. Looks very nice. I'm glad they're able to um, get this to transform without 
parts forming. Uh, it's very accurate to the G1 toy, aside from the battle damage, of course. It's also nice. Alright, I'm gonna get these guys uh, transformed back. What I do? His arms out. Uncurl the feet. Push down this um, piece here. Get the head through the hood. Hit how that happens. Oh, it's probably because I wasn't doing it in the right order. Anyways. It's simply a matter of getting, covering this gap or bringing these parts down. Again, try to get the uh, chest together properly. Tab the arms in. And here is Prowl in robot mode. this here. We'll move back to Ironhide. I think the last thing we did was... Oh wait, yeah. This arm up. I mean that hood. That roof of the hood up. These pieces in. Let's put this. I don't really have to line up anything anymore. I don't turn it back into robot mode. This is usually easier going back to robot mode because you don't gotta like line stuff up. And then, um, hold on, I think this, um, piece in the middle is supposed to rotate, head up. In. Uh, let's see if this sticks in this notch um yeah it fits but even if it doesn't even if it pops out it's not the end of the world it still looks good in robot mode yeah so all in all look good in yeah so all in all arguably the most accurate representations of these characters in both modes uh fun transformations real uh Ironhide is really Intriguing. Now, this is probably the best way to pick up the most uh, recent generations prowl right now. Ironhide has been released in his own wave in '86 already. You probably have him if you really wanted him. So, if you're willing to overlook the battle damage, and even with the battle damage, this is a great set to pick up. Please like this video, and if you do, please subscribe to my channel. That's it for my review. Bye.